Is it worth putting my Strix 3080 and 5950 on water? Good question. It depends what you mean by worth it. Depends what you mean by worth it, dudes. I'm, 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 I'm replying to Sammy's comment. Um, is it worth the cost of a custom loop? No. Is it worth... Oh, somebody just tipped a dollar fifty. Nori has hardware. Oh my god, dude, Nori. You know what's funny, Nori? When you jumped in the chat the other day, dude, your voice sounded exactly like I think you would have sounded, dude. Like, like, I'm like, yeah, that's a hundred percent fucking Nori. Dude. This like tenor, like fucking. Hey, baby. Like you're the Bugs Bunny, dude. Like you're like the double wide. Hang on. Looking like a double wide surprise. <laughs> that's god Nori, dude. Damn. That's literally Nori. Oh my god. Okay. Um, what was I even saying? 10 100 k for any FE. Uh. You didn't put a comment with that one. But anyway, uh, sushi. Uh, what was I gonna say? Is it worth. So, like, let, if, um. Let's notepad this. This is, a no, this is notepad worthy. Um. Hang on. Uh. Water block. CPU plus GPU. So a D5 pump is around like 90 to 100 dollars, right? Radiators can cost upwards like 100 dollars a piece. Let's say you get two radiators, 200 dollars. Um, uh, CPU block is gonna be around 150 dollars. A GPU block is like 250 dollars, like an EK one or whatever. Um, Reservoir, let's say like fifty dollars on the cheap end. This is like, oh, not even putting fittings and hoses. Fuck. Um, let's say absolute like flex hose fittings. It does get expensive, dude. Water cooling is no joke when it comes to fucking. It does. Um, let's say six, eight, nine, ten fittings. For like five bucks a piece, that's fifty bucks hose. Let's say a hundred dollars for fittings and hose. And then you need coolant, which is at least $20 for the Corsair clear shit, dude. What is this? Oh, shit. Like, this is, like, bare minimum. I, it just... the Like, water cooling... Like, a custom water loop gets so out of hand so quickly, dude. 200, 150, 250, 50, 100, 20. So you're looking at, let's say, $900. 900 US dollars. And what you get out of it... 900 US dollars and you get maybe from an AIO you might get 100 megahertz on the CPU maybe for a 5950X it's a little it's a little different with Intel but for uh AMD maybe 100 megahertz G uh for a 3080 Strix this makes a little bit more sense you might get like 200 to 300 megahertz assuming you power mod it or flash it you need the power limit to go with it. If you don't do anything with the power limit, then it does absolutely nothing. But, uh, and then what is that? Hang on, what is that? So let's say base, base boost frequency is 1900. Wait, wait, wait. And you get 2200 divided by 1900. So 16% performance boost here. So dollar dollar for performance not worth it if if money is not an issue for you at all yeah it is worth it because you're still getting you can get like 20 percent out of this bitch you know what i mean like go look at my um go look at my water cooled 3080 videos i got like an extra 25 percent out of my 3080 dude by water cooling it and power modding it so it, it increased it so much to the point that it was almost a 3090 so like, uh, but then again, you could just buy a 3090 for that thousand dollars. So like, what the hell do you do? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell do you do? Do you just spend the thousand dollars and get a 3090? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I can lower the music. Good call. Good call. Okay, how's that? How's that? 
Once, once I get my Go XLR fucking soundboard, I'll be able to actually hear what's going on in this stream through my headphones. So I'll be able to play with the levels a lot better. Just like I might have it in a week or two. Just like hang on for that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Ah, uh, let me catch up on the chat here. Who got Doctor Disrespect mentioned? I don't know, dude. Um, someone keeps spamming that shit. Someone literally commented on my video the other day. They're like, uh, I saw someone spamming your name and Doctor Disrespect, and now I came to check out your channel. So I got like an influx of fucking followers because people are just like spamming. Like, I guess people are just so sick and tired of seeing like a hundred FPS on Doc's rig, man. But the interesting thing is, though, I wouldn't be able to help him anyway. Really, he's using a thread ripper. And I have done one Threadripper consult where the guy bought B die, and the most I could get like was like 180. It's just not a good platform. The only saving grace though that I kind of want to try, which obviously is a really rare thing, is that he has the 64 core one. Right? He has the 3990X. Just turn SMT off. And you get B die. And then you have 64 physical cores. That could work. I bet you he hasn't tried that. That that that's like the first thing I would fucking go try on his rig. That'd be cool. That I would test actually, because the 32 core thread ripper, I turned SMT off and it wasn't enough it wasn't enough cores to actually do it properly. Um I'm running 6800XT, 66 Super. Okay, seems like everybody's mining right now, dude. Holy shit. You're all part of the problem. You're all fucking part of the problem. It's all you guys. That's why everyone's fucking mining. I'm gonna join you guys too, though. Fuck that shit. I need some money. I always need money. Free money, man. And especially if the card's under warranty. Mine away, dude. Mine the shit out of it. Just like... Just kind of pay attention to your thermals and don't like don't let dust build up in it and shit use your filters your pc filters um that's true too mark yeah you need you need a you need a water cooling case that could be also up to 150 or 200 dollars for a water cooling case that can hold the radiators large enough to hold the reservoir and shit uh yeah, dude, it's not... You're looking at at least a thousand or eleven hundred dollars for a full custom loop. And then is the is the is the performance worth a thousand, eleven hundred dollars? No, not really. If anything, just get the Gigabyte Extreme Edition where like it's like a quad quad air cooler or whatever. Yeah, dude, that's that's fucking sick. Those things are sick. Um. My PC is running great. Thank you, Jufus. Oh, yeah, you did a console, didn't you, Sushi? I don't even remember, dude. I've done so many consoles, dude. I cannot keep track of them all. There's just so many, dude. Like, literally, someone will say, thanks for fixing my computer. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't even remember. Like, Or, like, someone will order RAM, and it'll come in a week later. And then I'll be like, oh, hey, my RAM's here. I'm like, I don't remember where we left off. Like, I literally don't fuck. Like, like, I've done, like, 20 since I fucking talked to you. You know what I mean? There's just, like, it's out of hand. But every single person that I've done in the last, like, two months has been stoked, dude. Like, just absolutely stoked at their FPS numbers. So, like, they're happy as shit. I make good money for the channel. I get to, I get, to, I actually got to buy a whole new setup of audio equipment now from the consult money. So now my streams are going to be so much more professional because people are paying me to help them with their PCs, man. It's like the circle of positivity. That's fucking awesome, dude. It's never mind the 1080 XE too. What a fantastic workstation this is. Such a good workstation. I, ah. Uh, if, oh yeah, if like, if it was like Doc, and I, and he was like, hey man, can you make my FPS higher? I'd be like, buy, go buy a 10980XE. If you want a single PC stream, 10980XE, dude. I'm gonna do a whole video series on that shit. Just wait, it's gonna be fucking sick. When I get my new motherboard, I'm gonna return the dark. I hate the dark, dude. The X299 dark is such a shit show. Oh yeah, Sammy's in here. Sup, Sammy? 
we have the best community here, dude. Literally the fucking best community. Um, for anyone that joins the Discord and is new, don't be that guy that tells people what to do without them asking. That's really weird behavior. Just don't do that. Especially in my Discord. If somebody needs advice of some sort, just like let me answer it. So like, just, you know what I mean? Like, like don't be like, like we've had some really strange individuals, really weird individuals, really weird. Why does Nori's color keep changing? You're growing, man. Uh, I'm growing at the, I'm growing at the same rate that I was like a month ago. Like if I, if you go into the YouTube analytics, it'll say how many subscribers you uh, got in the last 30 days versus the previous 30 days. And my ratio is at 100%. So it's the exact same. Like it's the, like the, like the subscriber increase is the exact same. So that's pretty good. I could probably calculate now how long it'll take me to get to 10,000, but I don't really care. Like, 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 if you think about it, if you think about it, what would be the value of me getting any bigger? There's no value. I already have so many consults that I know what to do with, which provides all the money for the channel that I ever need. So when it comes to buying products, I don't have to worry about getting review samples. We have such a sick community now when it comes to like playing Warzone and our tournaments and shit. Everyone gets along. There's no like weird fucking... Oh, what was the word I used? Not we're, we're not zealots, not hardware zealots. Hardware Andes. That's it. Hardware. This is the new term that we're using. Hardware Andes, not hardware zealots. Um, hardware Andy fits a bit better because they they uh think they know everything about hardware and there's just like so many of them they're just like they read a buzzfeed article on like some fucking web on like the verge website and now they're an expert on hardware there's too many of these fucking people dude hardware andy's it's ridiculous oh yeah that's another hardware andy you know what i mean it's just fucking ridiculous uh hardware andy's Let's skip that topic for today, man. Oh my god, dude. They're such weird fucking humans. So weird. Do you remember that guy that was giving I'm for Peace advice? Like, I'm for Peace's computer was literally broken. Like, something was fucking broken with it. And he's like, have you tried tightening the tertiary timings? I'm like, what the fuck? What? The guy's computer is broken. What are you, what are you talking about? What the fuck? Tighten the tertiary timings. The fucking computer is broken. <laughs> what the fuck? No, it might help though. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Just get out. Just get out. Oh my god. Why are they like that? Why are they like that? Oh my god. Exactly reaction. Yeah, dude. Um that's that's something people don't talk about very much is like fan fan curve tuning really important dude it's like you can you can find a really nice balance of noise but it's not like it's not good content nobody cares about it that's why right jupiter just subscribe thanks so much jupiter sup man welcome to the community play a kickboxer meme what's that one and they're always fucking blues, dude. I don't know how they get in there. We have no more, no more freebies, dude. Zero fucking freebies. You know what the odd thing is? Why is it always a blue? Why? It's literally never been a red, yellow, green. Like it's like, like, like any of these higher tier subscribers and supporters and stuff. I've never had to ban one of these guys. Never. It's always some fucker down here that got in for free. And like, and like, so A, how did they get in for free? B, why do they go into discords for free and just tell people what to do? It's so weird. Like, like you don't see anyone with half a fucking brain do that shit, dude. It's so weird. It's weird. Why? 
It's not like it's not like somebody pays to get into a dip. It's almost like they know. Like subconsciously they know, dude. Like like you're not gonna pay. Like I'm not gonna pay five dollars to get into Buildzoid's Discord and then tell people what to do in his Discord. But like if I got in there for free, I might do it. Like that's that's so weird. It's so weird, dude. It's so fucking weird. I don't know. It's so fucking weird. Oh my god, I, didn't I ban that guy? The Viper guy? I'm pretty sure I did. At least if, at least if those guys stick to, like, YouTube comments, they can just kind of... They can kind of just cesspool there. But, like, the Discord... That also bothers me, too, though. Um... I was talking about this the other day where like I was going through my YouTube comments on um, that RAM video, like what was the best RAM to buy, and there was a lot of people that posted in the comments that were like, um, what should I buy if I have this? Like, or they're just like asking um, help, help questions, right? And, which is cool, I would like to reply to those, I like to help people, right? And then, what I noticed was somebody would ask a question like, hey, what do I buy? And then there'd be like four responses from people I've never seen before giving wrong information, like the hardware Andes. And like, I don't know what to do about it. Like, like I don't want to ban that guy because he's just, I'm sure that guy is just trying to help the guy asking the question. But on the, on the other hand, he's giving him wrong information. And he's giving him information that that's based off of like the Linus Tech Tips crowd. So let me see if I can actually find it here quickly. Let me see if I can find this quickly here. Hang on. There, there was there was one that I didn't delete, and I'm not sure what to do about it. It's it was so bad. He he said he said that 3200 megahertz, 32 gig was more important. Where the fuck was it now? Hang on, dashboard. Where where's the video here? I so I might post this up on YouTube later. Um for anyone that watches my content in the future, please don't 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 try to help how do I I don't even know how to word that, dude. Or you can't tell people to not try and help. Hang on. Uh, God, where the hell was it? Oh yeah, this guy was talking about binning, like of course. I left that one, fuck it. As long as they keep it in YouTube comments, it's fine. There, is this it? Here it is. Yeah, so like, like look at this, look at this. And I left it because I didn't, I'm like, he's like, can 4400 megahertz vipers um is 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabytes better for warzone so then um this guy was like i was about to ask the same question 16 gigs at 4400 or 32 gigs at 3200 and the, um they were asking in the specific context of warzone not like workstation not like premiere pro like specifically a warzone question right so i said 16 gigs of 4400 is way more important than 32 gigs of 3200 for Warzone. And then this guy's like, if you multitask, I would recommend, I would recommend this. Um, do you know what I mean? So for for the future, for anybody that watches my content, please do, try not to answer questions in the comments. Or if you are somebody that needs real answers or I'm just gonna put a disclaimer in the videos from now on that just say I have no I have no guarantee of the accuracy of the comments that get posted in my YouTube so like if somebody's like should I buy this and somebody is like no Nori don't fucking do that shit god damn it <laughs> no like like oh and trolls are another thing too actually that's perfectly what it is like, what if somebody's just fucking trolling? But like, 3,000 3, megahertz is fine. The guy might- the guy might take that literally, right? And he's getting bad information. So I might just do, like, disclaimer. 
I have no control over what people talk about in the comments. If you need the real answers, you're just gonna have to join the Discord and ask there. Cause... I can't be banning people for trying to legitimately help others, right? But... They also, like, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be answering wrong information at the same time. So it, it's kind of like a clusterfuck of shit that I can't control in the YouTube comments. It's a really strange problem. You know what I mean? So people are genuinely asking for help, but they're getting the hardware Andy's going in there and just answering them wrong answers, right? It's tough. It's tough. I don't know how to manage that. I literally don't know how to manage that. And like... Yeah, that that was like a that was like a new conundrum that I came across just recently. It is an entitlement thing, dude, but why I think entitlement is the wrong word. Why why would people feel entitled? Why would people feel entitled to give advice? That doesn't really make any sense. It makes them feel good to give advice because they feel like they're helping, but they don't know that they're they don't know that they're giving wrong information. That's the problem. And and all the consults actually what we'll fucking segue into the NZXT thing right now. I'm pressing the record button again. All the consults literally every single one is like an NZXT build and the guys like I didn't know. So like if the guy buying the PC doesn't know and the guy watching Linus Tech Tips doesn't know but he's giving advice like it's like a giant circle of people that just don't know any better you know what i mean it's like a self-feeding system of bullshit you know what i mean um no you don't have to only listen to me pretty much pretty much um sup asian hero oh molly right molly um why is your name asian hero man um if you join the Discord and you ask a question in there, I am confident in the community that we have in there to give you the correct information. So like, if I if I ever jump into tech support and I'm just like quickly reading through all the things, I haven't had to like correct somebody's answer in like a month. So I think we're okay. Like, like I think like, we have a lot of Warzone gamers in there now. Like, like we have, we have, how do I put this? We have so many Warzone gamers now that are in the Discord that I've helped. And everyone's getting 200 plus FPS now that they kind of know how to fix it as well. So if you join the Discord, that person that's getting 200 FPS already knows how to help you get 200 FPS as well or in general gaming as well so I think it's okay like I don't have to answer every fucking question but if it's like if, as long as it's in the discord and we have mods like Newman and Ty filter that shit as well right so uh, we have like a good squad of people that can answer and help now right but YouTube comments I can't fucking do shit you know what I mean um Dude, the NZXT rep is a hardware Andy. Um, 